Hi everyone, Peter Zay for Tech back here with another deck review. Today we have it. one that's a little bit different than usual. It's a replica of a vintage deck, which I got because it's a Portuguese deck and I have a big Portuguese. <laughs> the, uh, it's very small compared to like a regular size deck. It's not even really a bridge size. It's kind of smaller than a bridge size, kind of an odd size deck. It is what it is. The front says Cartes de Zagar, uh, Cartes Portuguesa, 1770. Apparently it's a replica from 1770, of course that means playing cards and Portuguese cards. And then INCM, that's who produced it, and there's a website, INCM.pt, you can get this, and a few other different types of decks there, uh, ASL kind of Portuguese. And here on the front you see this Portuguese symbol you see on the Portuguese flag, like a uh, coat of arms. Pretty nice. On the side you see a pattern. This is actually the back design pattern. It's kind of strange. It's on the other side as well. Nothing at top or bottom. In the back, this is actually the Ace of Swords. Which is, I guess kind of like the Ace of Spades. It's a dragon. And there's a seal. It's on the top and bottom. That says... Replica de Barrales de Real. Fabrica de. Sorry. The Carts Zoga. So basically, replica deck by Real Fab uh, Factory of playing cards. <laughs> okay. Pretty interesting. Uh, nothing toy on the flaps. But the inside actually has that same logo, which has a R for Real and Lisboa. It's Lisbon. And it says Real Fabrica. And that's all over it, but that's the same thing as the seal. The cards themselves are actually a little bit smaller than the top case itself. So I'll show you that comparison right now. Compared to a standard. Bicycle deck it is a hell of a lot smaller. That's just a poker size deck comparison. So first of all, you get this card. It says Certificado de Garantia, which is obviously a guarantee card. And it says it's a replica deck of Portuguese cards from 1770, made by Real Real Factory. Uh, playing cards from Lisbon. Um, blah blah. I don't know some of the words. <laughs> and it's numbered 573 out of a thousand. There's an autograph on there. It's pretty cool. Here's the back design, which I guess it's not near image. Actually, yeah, I guess it's not near image. <laughs> Slightly different, but it is what it is. Very interesting back design. Just a very plastic coated finish, as you can see. Um, they were actually all stuck together when I got them. <laughs> And they got squared corners, which would be old style. Here is the Ace of Swords, I guess the Ace of Spades. I didn't know dragons were a thing in Portugal. Hey, you learned something. And they got the traditional, um, you know, suits. So there's the Cups, Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Coins. And you get to the court cards. You get your Jacks or Knights. There's another one, kings, queens, the deck however is only a 48 card deck because it only goes up to a 9 for value, it does not have 10s, which uh, makes sense because there is a Portuguese game I'm familiar with that, actually I don't know. I know there's a Portuguese game that they don't even use the upper cards. So here's the number of cards. This is the Eight of Swords. Um, there's a Nine of Cups. Apparently I got two nines, so I won't change that. <laughs> there is a Six of Bats. And this six of coins actually has that logo in it again. 
I don't very similar. This one actually looks more like a coin. Uh, this one actually has the Riel factory logo on it. This one actually says Riel Fabrica. And this one says Lisboa. So very interesting. I could go through all of them, but very similar. Um, pretty cool. I'm glad I got it. It was a little bit pricier than I would have liked it. Like, what was it? 15 euros or something, plus a little bit for shipping. It wasn't horrible, but I was expecting something a little more pork sized, <laughs> not business card size like it is. It pretty much is business card size. I don't have one actually. I lie. I gotta have one here somewhere. Bear with me a second. I want to. I want to double check this. So it is actually smaller than a business card by a hair. Well, not a hair. That's a fair amount. Pretty weird. Smaller than a business card. Who would have known? Who would have funk it? <laughs> but anyways, it's still pretty cool. I don't know if that's the actual size they had back then. It's possible. Or it's possible somebody's measuring this off. <laughs> but um, it's interesting. Obviously, it's not going to spread or anything but I didn't buy it for that <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> but it's, a, it's just an interesting deck I got because it relates to me because I'm Portuguese and I thought it'd be cool to have probably the next time I look at it it's gonna be all stuck together again oh spread half decently but that is that um I think it's pretty cool for me uh, obviously most of you are probably not gonna care to get something like this, but I like it. That's that. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, you can get all sorts of decks at ContablePointingCards.com. Use the code VTSA 15 to save 10% on your order. If you're the comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.